have you ever needed to copy huge files and find yourself wondering how long is this going to take? You start a copy command and it's like watching paint dry because there's no progress bar. I said to myself, this cannot be that hard. Why didn't the creators of the CP command add a progress bar? So I decided to write a script to make this feature reality. We have got a teeny helper function called show progress that does all the heavy lifting of showing our progress bar. It calculates the percentage of the compilation and then prints out a bar that fills up as we copy the files. We need to know how big our files are, right? So we have get file size, which checks the size of our files. Here is where the magic happens. Copy file with progress reads and writes the file in chunks. It updates the progress bar after each chunk, so you can see it filling up in real time. For copying entire directories, copy directory with progress comes into play. It calculates the total size of all files first, then copies them one by one, updating the progress bar each time. The main function CP progress handles command line arguments, checks if you want to show progress and whether you are copying files or directories. If you add the progress flag, then it's gonna show you the progress bar. Otherwise, it just runs the normal CP command. Finally, we make an alias to replace the standard CP command with our custom CP progress and place the whole script in .bashrc file. Not every time you use CP, you get this progress bar for free. But then I just thought, why not make these changes directly in the source code of the CP command? So it's part of the GNU code utilities. So I headed over to their GitHub repo at github.com code utils. I found the source code for the CP command and started analyzing. So it's a very, very huge file, huge C file actually. But before diving in, I decided to check the readme file first. And guess what I found? A link to previously rejected feature requests. In this link, you can see all the commands that are part of the core utilities. And guess what? The progress bar was a rejected feature because maintainers decided that there are already existing tools you can pipe to the CP command. By the way, if you know any tools that show a progress bar while using CP command, just drop them in the comments. It turns out that there have been many attempts to add this feature, but it has been rejected every time. I'm so glad that I checked the readme and noticed that these rejected features. Otherwise, I will have spent way too much on the C code, only to have my pull request rejected. But hey, it will have been a great learning experience, of course. Anyway, this whole experience shows that it's always better to do a bit of research before diving into something.